So I'd like to uh, welcome everyone to this wonderful occasion. I'm Dan Bryant, president of the board for Opportunity Village, Eugene. And on behalf of that organization, thank you uh, for your presence here and for all of the work that so many of you have been doing. This is uh, the culmination of over a year of, of effort um, uh, that began uh, with the mayor's uh, uh, task force on homelessness after the uh, whole Occupy experience when so many people's consciousness uh, was raised in this community that we really needed to do something uh, to provide a place uh, for those who are currently without homes to be. And, and so here we are now. Um, or a year later. Uh, truly, truly a wonderful thing of many people working together, a city and nonprofit and churches and activists. Uh, what an amazing effort this has been. And this, is, of course, is just the beginning of what's going to be an, an ongoing effort now uh, for days, weeks, months, and years uh, to go. I want to uh, just uh, briefly first thank uh, some key folk who've just been so instrumental in this. Um, our city councilors, we're going to hear from Claire Syrett in just a little bit. George Brown is here. Thank you for your support. Um, uh, we have uh, the thriving community in the green t-shirts. Uh, these, these good folk have been hard at work for the last several weeks uh, building uh, the panels that are going to become the bungalows. and. Uh, at the end of this ceremony, they're actually going to bring onto the site uh, those panels that they have been building. Uh, and then on August 24th, they're going to have a big build day when uh, those uh, bungalows will all get constructed. And, and I think some work will be, is going to be being done over the, the next couple of weeks uh, from them. Uh, and not only donating the labor, but also the materials for that. So we really appreciate their effort. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Eric DeBurr and Faye from uh, Community Supported Shelters. Uh, uh, they, they built, uh, they're the ones who built the Conestoga huts that you've already seen around our community uh, in the car camping program. And uh, a couple of those huts are going to be coming here, and more of those huts will be built uh, over the next few weeks. Uh, I should mention that Alex Daniel is the designer Woo! of the bungalows. Uh, the Thrivent team. Um, and then, then we have all of our board of directors. Uh, board of directors, raise your hand so people can see who you are. <laughs> You've just been doing incredible work this past year. So as you all know, we had to go through a conditional use permit in order to turn this property, what used to be a trailer park, into, uh, uh, into this village, uh, which mm -hmm is an irony, of course, because we're actually returning in some ways to its uh, use from many years ago. Uh, but that was because of the zoning change made when the city purchased the property. Uh, so going through that zoning, uh, through that conditional you permit uh, process was uh, quite a learning experience for many of us who've never done that. And we were very fortunate to have a very experienced person who guided us through that, and that's Bill Randall from Arbor South. never seen a commit a conditional use uh, permit process where the permit was approved at the actual public hearing right on the spot. Uh, that's a great testament to both his work and the work that's been done in the community to make sure this all goes smoothly. We had no opposition. Uh, to citing this village uh, here in this community. In fact, uh, the Train Song neighborhood, the Neighborhood Association has been very supportive. I don't see if Tom Musselwhite made it president of the uh, uh, association, but they've been very supportive and we're very much uh, looking forward to uh, working with them. Um, and uh, then our, our uh, uh, sponsor, our financial sponsor, as we are waiting for IRS to complete our nonprofit uh, application, uh, which we hope is going to happen this next month, uh, is St. Vincent de Paul. And we really appreciate their support. So, uh, Keith, uh, uh, Terry, come up here and just uh, give us an official greeting. Uh, that would be most 